hey guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome karibu my name is Ivam Tali and this is travel with Ivam Tali your number one youtube channel for all things travel working abroad living abroad and studying abroad so without much further ado i'll dive straight into today's video where have i been am i quitting youtube um what changes are there to the rural and northern immigration pilot program uh, is New Brunswick still hiring international candidates? So these are some of the questions that um, a lot of you have been asking me. Of course, I have been missing in action for a very long time. Um, if you remember, um, in my last video, I have shared this with you guys. I've been having issues with my throat and it's just taking a toll on me. So I decided to give it uh, a break and see if it's going to get better. But um, looks like it's not getting any better. And um, I had this very important information I want to share with you guys. So kindly bear with me. Please put your um, um, video volume to the highest because I'm really struggling. I'm really straining to speak. I have had to like be quiet for a whole week so that um, my vocals can handle this video. So kindly bear with me. I'm praying that um, my voice gets better so we can continue with our daily videos. So um, those who've been asking me, um, asking Eva, we don't see any more videos. Thank you so much for your concern. Some of you were, some of you even asking me, Eva, did you quit YouTube? No, I haven't. It's just that my voice has been giving me issues. But um, so I'm gonna quickly, quickly go through today's video. Um, so number one, the Canadian Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program, that is RNIP, has some changes um, that have been made on it. And you know, this is one of my favorite immigration programs to Canada for obvious reasons. I have told you guys the easiest way, one of the easiest ways to immigrate to Canada, like easiest ways to get a job outside of Canada is to focus on the rural and northern um, provinces of Canada because a lot of Canadian people, that is citizens and permanent residents, do not want to go there. So that means you're going to have little competition if you apply for a job there and the canadian government has actually dedicated an entire program that is the rnip that is dedicated toward um, um um taking care of immigrants who want to move to the rural and northern areas of canada so there have been some changes um at a press conference in timmins ontario on the 26th of august 2022 the honorable sean Fraser, who's a Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship in Canada, announced that there's going to be changes to the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot beginning the fall of 2022. So the major change is that the RNIP has been extended to 2024, guys. That is an advantage for you if you want to immigrate to Canada and settle in any of the rural and northern provinces, northern areas of Canada then this is good news for you because remember this is a pilot program and the fact that it's been extended to 2024 is an advantage and then the other change is that they have expanded the boundaries for seven of the 11 particip participating communities so which are these communities that are participating in the rural and northern immigration pilot program and where in which provinces of Canada are they located? So we have North Bay, Ontario. We have Sudbury in Ontario. We have Timmins in Ontario. We have Sault Marie in Ontario. We have Thunder Bay in Ontario. And then we have Brandon in Manitoba. We have Altona and Rhineland in Manitoba. We have Musjo in Saskatchewan. We have Claire Shaw in, uh, um, what is Claire Shaw in, uh, Okay, I don't remember where Claire Shum is. Uh, what I'll put it on the screen here. And then we have West Kootenay in British Columbia and Vernon in British Columbia. So what are the steps to apply for the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program? So number one, you have to confirm that you meet IRCC eligibility requirements. And don't guys, wise, I'm going to leave a link in the description box at the bottom of this video. And also the first comment of this video, which I'm going to pin you can check the eligibility requirements and then number two you must also meet the community specific requirements so for example if you want to move to Timmins, they have their own specific requirements which you must meet and then number two you need to find an eligible job with an employer in one of the participating communities and don't worry guys in a moment i'm going to show you how but there are several videos that i have um, already shot 
about the rural and northern immigration pilot programs and where you can find jobs so i'm gonna link those as well in the description box at the bottom of this video and then number three once you have a job offer you need to submit your application for recommendation to the community that you want to um, immigrate to and then number four if a community recommends you you apply for permanent residence so kindly note that each community will have its own additional eligibility requirements job search process as well as community recommendation application process and this information is available on each participating community's website and guys again i'm going to leave a link in the comment section below and in the description box below where you can visit each of the websites of these 11 participating communities so what are the additional changes so number one i've talked about the expansion of geographic boundaries of the following participating communities that is north bay sudbury timmins thunder bay Musjo, west kootenay and vernon such that more employers are able to participate and then number two they've uh, also expanded the range of job offers available to candidates in the health and trade sector and then number three of course there's expansion of the rnip program to august 2024 when the pilot comes to an end which is a plus because it allows communities to participate for a longer period as well as you to participate for a longer period and the best part is that ircc has reduced the amount of settlement funds participants are required to have and this is strengthened um, of course the last but not least is strengthening program integrity so according to Fraser's personal position the rural and other immigration pilot program is working and it could potentially become a permanent source of newcomers to rural and the northern communities of Canada so that is good news guys and according to Fraser the key markers the Canadian government looks for when making a program which is currently piloted and making it permanent is if it's working and whether or not it um, it it be expanded or shifted to make sure the needs of the local communities are met so for this rural and northern immigration pilot program for example there is already interest in northern ontario to have the rnip as a permanent program so in timmins ontario currently early childhood educators are one of the top occupations that people are applying for and guys i know one of the requirements of um, the rnip program is that you have a job offer many of you have been asking me eva are employers even gonna hire me if i am outside of canada so one thing that came out of the press conference um is that employers in the rural and northern immigration pilot programs are actually hiring candidates from outside of canada and currently like for the mining sector alone overall there is a shortfall of about three thousand workers and um one of the companies in timmins that is the bucket shop in timmins has been successful in hiring newcomers and jamie paul who's one of the um proprietors of the bucket shop in timmins said they have brought in six qualified workers from um outside of canada so far and that eight more people will be arriving in the coming months so if you are there sitting and saying even no one is hiring there are people who are hiring so jamie of the bucket shop in timmins ontario actually at the press conference said that he has hired six qualified workers from outside of canada so far and i'm going to leave a link to that article in the description box as well so while the bucket shop used an independent company to source the workers Jamie said that the RNIP has given Timmins a high profile and even with the sourcing workers from outside of Canada, Jamie says that the bucket shop has a shortfall of about 20 welders right now. So guys, if you are a welder and you are watching this video, please head over to that link in the description box and also the pinned comment on this video and go and submit your application. So um when you look at the mining forecast for growth and if uh, let's say the bucket shop scales its growth to the mining sector there's gonna be a shortage of 20 40 and 60 people if it is not addressed immediately that's according to jamie of the bucket shop so guys the basket shop is a timmins ontario based bucket repair and manufacturing facility that produces their own tbs hyper brand line of cast lip and heel assemblies they are always looking for talented trades people whether you are entry level or an experienced trades person the bucket shop may have a spot for you on their team and they are currently seeking field welders 
millwrights, millwrights and pipe welders. They help they offer competitive wages, some camp and in town work may be required. So you need to send your resume to Anna Maureen or use the form on this page that I'm gonna leave in the description box below. So guys, as of June 30th, 2022, 1,130 newcomers had arrived in the rural and northern immigration pilot communities, helping address labor shortages in key sectors such as health, healthcare, hospitality, and food services, retail, manufacturing, and transportation. And IRCC estimates that an average of 125 newcomers and their family members could be welcomed into each of the participating communities every year. And um, there is a maximum of 2,750 principal applicants plus family members whose applications can be accepted for processing under RNIP in any given year. So guys, there you have it. If you want to immigrate to Canada and you're okay to settle in any of the rural and northern communities of Canada, then you want to head straight to the first pinned comment in this video. And also you can check the description box at the bottom of this video so you can see how you can start apply um and start your journey towards permanent residence so guys um i have to end this video here and i look forward to meeting you on the next one bye guys